What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you how to switch a light on and off when pressing a button. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. Alright, so you can see, I've already set up my scene to be a bit darker just so we can see the difference lighting a bit easier. I just basically, you know, lower the intensity value for the direction of light. Nothing crazy. Alright, so let's get started by creating the button switch blueprint itself, okay? Which is the one that will interact with our player to, you know, turn the light on and off. So let's go to the content browser, just right click, create a new blueprint class, and this will be basically an actor because it will simply just be an object in the world let's call this something as bp underscore switch or button whatever you want to name it i think that switch will be a bit more appropriate and let's open this blueprint up now in my case i do not have any meshes or models for a light switch but i'm just gonna add a static mesh which will be the light switch itself and i'm just gonna put like for example a ball or something like that or i don't know maybe a cone we could put or a square yeah i think i got a cube would make sense right so i can put for example um this cube right and i will just lock it and make it way smaller and then just in one of the axes kind of expand it and make it more like this right i think that like this it will make sense it looks like a button kind of all right so now that we have the model done i'm going to go ahead and just drag it to the level okay and just position it a bit better and there we go this will be the button okay there we go so with the mesh on our switch you know selected let's create the trigger okay for this light switch and what do i mean with trigger well basically the area the zone that when our player enters we can collide uh sorry not collide but interact with this button so to do this let's go back to the um blueprint and let's add a collision what type of collision? Well, it depends on what you know shape you want, but it will be a sphere collision in our case. Let's call this something as trigger, and let's make sure that in collision settings, it is set as overlap all dynamic. Great, so now it is a bit too small, so let's go to the sphere radius and make it bigger. So as soon as our player enters this trigger radius, we will be able to, you know, and interact with this uh, switch over here. So, you know, the size will depend on what you want and how far away you want your player to be able to interact with this. All right, so now with that said, what we need to do is basically all the logic about pressing the button, right, and turning on the light, which we will need to reference on the level and so on. So what we're going to do is build an interface. That way we can interact with this button in a more, you know, optimal way. So let's just go into the content browser, right click, go to the blueprint category, and let's create a blueprint interface. Let's call this something as BPI underscore interact, and let's open this blueprint interface. Now, this will automatically create a function which we will basically call interact. And now what we can do is add this interface to our switch blueprint and then we can call this interact function from whatever other class and we don't have to directly you know cast to bp switch uh, you will see better when we you know put it in in action but let's go to class settings go to the inherited or implemented interfaces and just add our bpi interact as you can see now we have a new interact function created which is the one that we set up here and if we double click we can you know add everything on here right in this case it's a custom event so we will do all the logic about turning on the light and so on so first of all we need to go ahead and actually make sure that we are turning on the light or off so let's go ahead and just create a boolean which will be is light on okay so if okay so there's a branch our light is basically not boolean so that means that it is not currently on the first thing that we'll do is set light on to true and then we we'll need to you know call our light uh, which will be in the scene or the level and you know turn it on and then we'll do exactly the opposite on false so okay we'll basically set it to false okay as simple as that great we can close also interact and now what we're going to do is also just print here a message which will be something as turn light on 
and then we will do exactly the same thing but for false which will be turn light off uh, with two f's and let's just go ahead and test the interaction system between uh before actually you know going ahead and setting up the light in our level and so on so because the player is the one interacting and you know handling the input we need to go to the uh, the you know third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using and now in this case i'm gonna just add in e key uh, node now of course you can properly set up a input action like on here right to set it up as interact but in this case the tutorial is going to be simpler let's just add an e key node over here and when we press it we are going to do a for each loop okay so not reverse but a for each loop uh for each loop there we go and now what is going to be the array well, we're going to get the overlapping actors and why we're doing this well you may notice that on our bp switch we added this trigger with the collision setting on overlap or dynamic so that means that if our player is inside of this trigger in here we will detect it as an overlapping actor that way we can interact so now when we have detected this object we're gonna use a does implement interface node to check if it does have the bpi interact interface if it does we're gonna make a branch continue and call the interact message from BPI Interact that we created. As you can see, that way, we just don't need a direct reference to the class. If not, we will need to basically do a cast to BP underscore switch, and then here called the um, function of Interact, right? But not, in here we can make it universally with this interface, right? It we don't have access to our uh, specific class. <coughs> All right, so now with that said, we're gonna go and test this out. If I press play, go here to this button and press E, you can see turn light on, turn light off, and so on at the top left part of the screen. So everything is going ahead and working, now we just need to create our light. So let's go to our level, go to quickly add to the project, lights, and let's basically just add a simple spotlight on, I don't know, just in front of the button we could do, kind of here, right? And we're gonna put it up, and then we're gonna go ahead and just increase a bit the intensity, and so on. As you can see now, we can see the light on here, which is pretty nice, right? We're gonna even make it a bit more brighter, okay? So this is a spotlight component. So this is what we need to reference in our BB switch. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new variable, which will be the light. And let's call this the light um, component. I think there's not directly a spotlight. Oh yeah, there's a spotlight component, okay. So it will basically be this spotlight component uh, object reference. I think that is directly spotlight. We don't need the component. So let's do a uh, spotlight object and let's just click this eye icon so it will be um, publicly available. What this means is now I can select this, go to the light and get this pick actor from scene and select it. Boom! As you can see, now my light is referencing this light over here, right? The, the light uh, variable that we created in the button. So now when we press this button, we will interact with what light? Well, this one. Okay, so now on here we just need to get this light, and then on here we will need to set the intensity of this light to be uh, under the spotlight component. And what this will be? Well, in this case it is at 57. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's copy and paste the value. Uh, okay, we cannot add so many. There we go. We need to remove the numbers, uh, letters, sorry, at the end of the units. And then let's go ahead and just copy paste. We're going to plug in this target, and now this will be to zero because we're uh, you know putting it back to uh, you know off. And of course, by default, this will need to be off too, right? At zero. So remember to do that. And now when we go and press the button, guess what? Boom! We turn on the light, and boom! We turn off the light, and it just goes ahead and work. And now the only thing you need to do is maybe you know add a simple uh, play sound to D, right? To enhance it a bit, right? So we could do a click on button in both ways and that's it okay and now we are basically going ahead and interacting we could even just go ahead and just you know add this at the start because well it will play in both cases so it doesn't make sense to add it after the branch right so there we go and that's it now we can go and interact with this button to turn on the light 
and off. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I had lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Remember to, you know, check out the project files, uh, which are available in Patreon and YouTube members. Join my Discord server to talk to me and to the devs. Check out my new course with Game Dev TV and how to win a stealth game in Unreal. And now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.